Hello everybody, here's a case on a 61-year-old male patient. This is a CT scan of the abdomen with intravenous contrast. The case is quick to show a specific entity. It's dedicated uh, to a uh, senior audience and radiology residents. Uh, juniors, uh, whether students uh, or interns, you'd find this of use and I think uh, surgical residents would uh, like this case as well. The abnormality is obvious. It's involving this organ here. This is the liver and the involved organ is the gallbladder. A normal gallbladder on a CT scan should have a uniform fluid density without soft tissue components, wall thickening or surrounding changes. Of course, this is not the case here. So the first thing you notice is that the uh, wall of the gallbladder itself is irregularly thickened throughout. So it's a diffuse gallbladder wall abnormality with multiple rounded areas of thickening. Since the abnormality involves the wall, you could describe that as mural abnormality. Add to that that the wall itself contains these dense areas that are consistent with calcifications here and there. The calcifications are not within the lumen, so they are not gallstones. These are mural calcifications. There is a differential diagnostic list for mural thickening of the gallbladder. However, we'll choose two entities to highlight here. The first entity is acute and the second is chronic. If the patient presents acutely, thickening of the gallbladder wall might mean acute cholecystitis, which is very commonly associated with gallstones, and that's what's called calculus cholecystitis. However, it could be a calculus in certain conditions. And in that case, you'd expect the uh, gallbladder wall thickening to either be focally or diffusely uniform without having these rounded or cystic-like areas. In addition, you might see pericholecystic changes in the fat itself, denoting inflammation. Of course, the first modality of choice uh, for imaging acute cholecystitis would be ultrasound rather than CT. In this case, this was not the presentation, and all the other findings we talked about are not seen here. Now, if the presentation is chronic or the patient is detected incidentally, with or without symptoms, you want to make sure that the uh, focal or diffuse thickening of the gallbladder is not related to a neoplastic process. Namely, you want to make sure you're not talking about gallbladder carcinoma. In such cases, there are important uh, secondary findings that you have to comment on to make sure you're clear on what you're looking at. So let's talk about those. Gallbladder carcinoma could present as a polyp, could be focal or diffuse thickening, and may be an invasive large mass at the region of the gallbladder fossa. The important negatives to talk about here, the first thing is the abnormality is confined to the wall of the gallbladder without invasion of the liver or adjacent structures. The other thing, if you look at the liver here, you don't see any biliary tree dilatation. What you see are vessels without dilatation of the biliary tree, which is a finding that is commonly associated with gallbladder cancer. The third thing to look for is uh, local lymph adenopathy, enlargement of lymph nodes, and that's not the case here. And finally, it could be metastatic, so look for metastatic deposits uh, elsewhere. Now, the patient does not have any of those concerning findings. What he has are these areas of irregular wall thickening or mural thickening of the gallbladder, and the areas look low in density. Looking at this appearance, this is actually a very characteristic appearance of an entity known as adenomyomatosis. So this funny entity known as adenomyomatosis is actually a relatively common finding in radiology practice. However, we're more used to seeing such an entity on ultrasound. Uh, it's basically an uh, entity that's idiopathic. It has uh, no clear inflammatory, infectious, or neoplastic bases. And what happens is uh, chronic thickening of the gallbladder wall, which could be focal or diffuse, with development of sinuses or pockets within the wall itself. 
Pathologically speaking, those sinuses within the wall are known as uh, rokitansky ashoff sinuses, which is a common uh, MCQ question in either uh, radiology or surgical literature. So keep that in mind to brag about. Now here's an MRI on the same patient. This image is a transverse image of the abdomen over the area of interest. It's a T2-weighted image where fluid, such as fluid seen in the stomach or the bowels or in the CSF, is bright, and where everything else appears dark because there is fat saturation. So this is a T2 with suppression of the fat. If we look at the gallbladder again, you'll notice that the same abnormality is seen on MRI. There is a uh, irregular thickening of the uh, wall of the gallbladder. The mural thickening has these uh, rounded areas that are very bright on T2, denoting that they uh, are cystic in nature. Uh, you could even see that their color is similar to that of fluid within bowel loops. So multiple cysts thickening the wall of the gallbladder. Now, seniors, you might like this. This is such a classic appearance on MRI that it has a sign attached to it. The sign is known by the name of a pearl necklace sign or a uh, string of beads sign. So let's summarize what we talked about today. Thickening of the wall of the gallbladder could be focal or diffuse and has uh, several reasons. If the presentation is acute, think about acute cholecystitis and look for inflammatory changes and uh, stones within the gallbladder. If the presentation is chronic, think about neoplastic processes. In that case, you have to make sure that there is no invasion, lymphadenopathy, biliary free dilatation, or metastasis. However, don't forget the relatively common entity of adenomyotosis, which is uh, not an infection, not a neoplasm, and is idiopathic. Uh, this entity could present in various fashions and may confuse you with uh, gallbladder cancer. Make sure you don't have any uh, ominous findings and look for this uh, more classic appearance of cystic, whether focal or diffuse, thickening of the gallbladder, which is even more classic on uh, T2-weighted uh, MRI images, known as the uh, string of beads or per necklace uh, signs. That's it for today's case. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please send your feedback uh, or questions. If you find this useful, please uh, help spread the word about the account, whether here on Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, uh, YouTube, or even the uh, Radiology Bits uh, school uh, online, uh, and see you with more cases later.